Watch, roll play. Rolling. Rolling. Steamer. Ready and action. The history of noir and the history of great detectives was the 30s when American institutions were really under stress and where justice was a very open question. And Hodges just fits right into that history. He is the greatest private detective this generation. A big day for the woman who shot Mr. Mercedes, and I suspect a big day for you as well. I'll have to speed them. A lot of big days. This season is about Hodge's journey to try to figure out how to be a better man. His chance to sort of have a redo on all the important things that define him. That's a noble cause. A lot of people give that up. Not with Hodges. He wakes up and looks himself in the mirror. He realizes you're on Earth, you get one life, and, and you got to make the best of it. The only way out is in. Most men don't have the guts. Ever notice? Everything is upside down on us. Maybe that's how life is, hon. Spoon's just got it figured out. Hodges is a flawed, brilliant character. And it's about the monster inside and how we deal with it. Hodges, he was all over the place in season one. Lost in the bottom of a bottle of whiskey, very slobby. Uh, last season, he was just loose and more in himself, being OK, not being a cop. And this season, we kind of went with a look that was more together, that he actually enjoys wearing a tie these days. So that it's not a restriction, it's actually a liberation in a way. That he's not swinging out of that in order to impose order on what is chaotic inside. It's that he actually feels driven to go after the people that he ends up going after. And action. I want to be privy to the investigation, all of it. I can't do that. You can't. And you should. Hodges and I have to finish what we started. And it is like finding some level of, of justice. There's no more animosity. We're here to help one another. Even though Hodges understands vagaries and shortcomings of the law, he believes that the law is really the only veneer between us and madness. We took a young woman in a fragile psychological state, put her into a situation. That's on us. Hey, Mark. People are often killed by someone they know. Now, maybe this is a simple robbery, but maybe it isn't. This season, I think, feels like the first time we are a true trio. We kind of found our chemistry. Hodges especially has this newfound respect for Jerome, not seeing him so much as a kid. Take information, don't give any. Do you understand? See, si, Kimosabi. What does that mean? Bill. It means you're no longer a Lone Ranger. You have two sidekicks right here. So the, the Finders Keepers thing now is on a much more level footing. It's becoming more and more apparent, and sometimes even articulated, how much they mean to each other. There's a rapport that's just more laid back. They poke fun at each other. They call each other out. They stick up our hole the size of a cannon barrel. OK, that will cost you $10. There are two battles going on. There's the battle of finding the bad guy, and then there's the inner struggle. Hodges just conveys that conflict of trying to walk down these dirty streets without becoming dirty himself. He's one of the great detective's characters, and what Brendan Gleeson brings to it is gold. You need to let Brady go. He's knocking around in my brain, too. I do feel that Hodges, as a man, is attempting to evolve into a person who is a better person. And of course, it's not always easy. Mr. Mercedes, new episodes, Tuesdays at 10 on Audience.